Hello everybody, this is Rachel Fierick. I'm coming to you from my backyard and I am the River Edge Scientist in Residence for the West Bend School District. Today we are going to work on a sound map. It's one of my favorite activities to do because you get to express your creativity however you want as well as sitting outside and just being able to listen and observe the surroundings around you. The materials that you're going to need are a pencil um, as well as a piece of paper or you can print out the sheet that we'll be sharing with you guys. I just brought out a piece of cardboard as my um, as my writing area and I'm just sitting on a dry object outside right now in my backyard. So what we're going to do is we're just going to sit and listen for a little bit. So I'm going to give you, um, you guys can pause this video and listen for like a minute and then we'll come back. So I'm not sure if you could hear that but the birds were being really loud uh, during my silence time and I heard about seven different birds as well as some noise from some cars which the freeway is pretty close to us. I also was hearing some metal clanking from somebody working in one of their buildings outside um, and I heard a lot of the leaves that are still in the trees rustling around. So I'm going to show you some different ways that you can start to draw out this sound map. Now that you've taken time to observe, we are going to check out our paper and um, think of some ways that we could draw our map. Okay everybody, grab your paper and let's get to drawing. Give yourself anywhere from a minute to about five minutes of sitting out here and being able to draw what you're hearing. We can use dots. We can use dark and light and kind of a crosshatch. We can make something dark and go lighter. We can use tallies or dots to mark something. We can use different line shapes, curved or curvy or sharp and jagged. You can use icons to make those things look like they're sounding. And all I want to really get across is there's no right or wrong way to be making your sound map. Listening can be so calming. Um, I have finished my sound map and I'm going to show you just a little bit about it. I'm not going to show you the whole thing because I really want you to get out there and just do whatever feels right. There's no right way or wrong way of making these sound maps. They're just really fun to use your creativity and no one's is gonna look the same. So I had something walking through my backyard and I could hear its pitter patters on the leaves. And then we have the road here. So you'll see this, this kind of dark spot. That's where my car was going by. Here's my tally marks of the amount of cars that I had. There was a loud bang of something and that's what I heard so I kind of made this sound that kind of radiated. And then the wind started blowing my papers away. So I made this wind movement um, to indicate my papers were getting blown away. Thanks everybody for coming out and doing some sound maps with me today. I'm really grateful to be out here and being able to um, do some artwork as well as some listening. 